please welcome to our show, Selma Hayek Pino. <laughs> So are you. Thank you. You know, we talk about you a lot here on the show in a great way. Thank the other you. day, do you remember during Hot Topics, we were talking about her big front page article in More Magazine, and you said, you're always at the limit of chubbiness. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. What does that mean? I mean, I know what it means, but tell people who don't. <laughs> well, you know, it depends. Like, for America, I'm at the limit of chubbiness. For, like, the, some of the Latin countries, I'm like skinny as a stick. Yes, you yes. Know? So, but like, if we're to, it, it depends what culture we're talking here. But for if you compare me with most of the other actresses, yes. I I am at the limit of chubbiness, okay. and that that is like, I would like no 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 but a lot of <laughs> oh, this don't is... you pity me huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I like to be here and it's I, I don't think uh, chubby is a bad word. No. No. A, a okay, woman. maybe I'm saying the wrong word. Um, filled up, like. Uh, <laughs> filled up. <laughs> well, because uh, ra rounded up. Because yeah. you see, this is the thing. I know, like, if I go a little bit, I'm at the limit. If I go a little bit, yeah. I don't look as good. Do you get on the scale every day? Not every day, Not every but day. I, I I do it often, you and know. I and I go. Okay, you know? <laughs> you know, one more bag of potato chips and I don't yes. wear into these, these clothes because I have like yes. this size and then that size and then that size. Yes. So when you were 23, when someone was 23, she was a Mexican telenovela superstar in a telenovela called Teresa. Right. That is something else. And then explain what happened when you tried to make the transition here in America. Because I find this story yeah. fascinating. Well, I... I did really well. My, my, my show was number one. I mean, it had like 61 points of rating. I was super, super famous. And, and I wanted to do films and I wanted to do other things. I didn't just want to do telenovelas, but there was no film industry in Mexico at the time. So, so you went to Hollywood. I came here and I started as an extra. I started all over again. Mm -hmm. And What I did they tell you? The accent, the soft figure? First of all, I didn't know anybody. I didn't speak English very well. I didn't have a green card or a driver's license. <laughs> hey, I didn't have any friends, you know, or family yes. or nothing. So that was a little bit hard, but I will tell you what got me through it. Um, that I would arrive at a restaurant, like I'd, I'd go like to a fancy restaurant. Yes. You know? And I remember one time, somebody really famous got out of a car and there was, no big deal because there was no paparazzi at the okay. time. And then I get out of my little car. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say the name of the other person, but he was, I'm tempted. But he was a big, big star at the yes, time. Yes, yes, what happened? I was a nobody. And then I get out and all, all the ballet parkers, oh, Salma Hayek, Oh, they I, knew I, you. I, yeah, he turned around and looked at me. They don't even care about him. Yes. I, w I went into the restaurant, all the boss boys, everybody from the kitchen came out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like handbags, dresses, shoes, jewelry? Like, what's your one favorite thing to purchase or get as a gift from your husband? Mm, I like it all. I like dresses, but of course, if you have the, if you don't have the right shoes for the dress, <laughs> you know, you know, or the belt or the earrings, yes, you know, you gotta put it all together. Now, now your skin is gorgeous. Thank you can't you so see much. this through the TV, but I can see you have on not so much makeup at all. What do you, yeah, but not a whole, like I've seen, you know, you see more it's close well up. It's, it's well put on. It's well put on. It's good. What, what do you do with your skin? You know, I have a, a beauty line. Uh, and I, 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 do, I do have to say, I don't do injections on my face and I don't do bottles. No, but I don't judge it, you know, but I, if you get the, the right cream, it's amazing what you can do if you have a good routine and you are constant and you get the right creams. So I made some creams, it was my dream, with this stuff that I know from Mexico that works. My dream was to make the best cream 
in the world, but that everyone could afford. Because oh. a lot of the really expensive things, yes. they are, they could be, they, they could be done for very little money, mm -hmm. but they charge a lot because they're very good. So uh -huh. I wanted to do it just as good, but not charge a lot. Uh -huh. So I have this line in a CBS of, of, of um, you know, nice. beauty care and also makeup and hair. It's she, called, uh, she does it all. Don't you love this woman? <laughs>